Kern out of it beautifully gets a hammerlock on Rocket Monroe. Monroe gets to the ropes. These fans booing Rocket Monroe. Side headlock by Monroe. And Kern coming out of that headlock test of strength here. Rocket Monroe waited until the referee got around the blind side and then took advantage of the opportunity to pull Kern's hair. Again, Rocket Monroe taking that shortcut, pulling Kern's hair. The referee caught him, however, that time counted for Monroe to break. But on the break, he caught uh, Kern a hard blow to the side of the head. Now again, he's got Kern in the side headlock. Uh, Kern's come out of this headlock a couple of times before. He's got a good counter move going right now in an effort to force Monroe to break his hold. But again now Monroe chooses to pull Kern's hair. Monroe well aware that the referee could not see at that time and of course the fans are shouting into the referee what had happened and uh, our referee Ron West uh, warned Monroe Connection to the side of the head by Rocket Monroe. Monroe denying any wrongdoing as uh, the referee was questioning Monroe about the use of a fist. Kern gets him into the ropes and so that forces a break. But on that break, a hard connection to the head by uh, Rocket Monroe. Takedown scored by Monroe with a side headlock maintained. Kern once again countering in an effort to uh, force Monroe to break his hold. And the referee caught Monroe that time, counted for him to break. He broke, but got him right back. The referee again counting. And Steve Kern once again. And to come out of the uh, headlock. Well, this Rocket Monroe, for those of you who know him, know that he will take every shortcut possible, take advantage of every opportunity, and will do things when the referee uh, is on the blind side or in a position where he can't see. That's when Rocket Monroe makes his move. Hard connection to the midsection by Steve Kern. He's uh, trying to force Monroe to break that headlock again. Caught him in the midsection again. And again. And Kern out of the headlock and caught Monroe in the midsection with a knee. There's a forearm that sent Monroe through the ring ropes to the apron of the ring. Kern kicking through those ropes at Monroe. And these fans cheering Steve Kern on. Referee asking Kern to get back in the center of the ring to allow Rocket Monroe to step back in. Finally, Monroe is back into the ring. And a loop to the midsection by Monroe. Possible use of a fist there that time by Monroe. Kern goes down. The referee warning Monroe about the use of fists.
Steve Kern in those ropes, but Rocky Monroe right there using his boot, kicking. And now using that second ring rope to uh, choke Kern, the referee counting Monroe to break. Now Kern's head delivered into the turnbuckle. Again, Monroe driving Kern's head into that turnbuckle. A knee to the small of the back by Monroe. Kern firing back in retaliation. Catches Monroe in the midsection. And to the head now, and Monroe goes down. Rocket Monroe is down. And Steve Kern really beginning to open up here now on Rocket Monroe. Kern arm whipping Monroe into the ropes. Back drops in. And Kern using his boots off the sides of uh, Monroe's face. Kern arm whipping Monroe again into the ropes. And he's got him in the sleeper hold. Steve Kern has Rocket Monroe caught in the sleeper hold. Yes, sir. Steve Kern is uh, very capable with the sleeper. Mark Lewin is not the only man capable with a sleeper. Steve Kern also is very uh, adept with it. Rocket Monroe is very fast weakening. Referee checking Monroe's arm. And I believe that this is, yes sir, that's all. Mr. Monroe is out. It's Nodsville for Monroe. Steve Kern is your winner. And, uh, the referee now asking Kern to wake Monroe up. Kern about to uh, attempt to do so. And Monroe comes around. Monroe has come to. And there the referee raising his arm in victory. Your winner of this match. And what a fine young grappler he is. Your winner is...